Hello guys, what is up? This is Golad Skelly, and welcome to another episode of Random Winter Trades. So, today, um, you know, nothing to be special, but, um, we're trying to have a Jelly Scent to start things off, which is a quite unique Pokemon, I would say. And, um, you know, this is really just a mellow, uh, kind of video, I guess. I'm gonna have a little update coming on July 1st for, uh, basically summer and all that fun stuff. I'm gonna try uploading a lot more. That's basically the gist of what the update's gonna be on, but, um, yeah, we're gonna see how things go for that. Um, you know, I'm on summer break, you guys already know that, it's about time, I don't know how I did my exams, but, you know, as long as I did okay, I don't mind too much, we got Gumi over here, which is not too bad at all, I got a little Gooder in my party, and to be honest, I don't know, Gumi, it's a shit Pokemon, at first, but once you get it up to Gudra, it's like a monster, like, Gudra is like literally like the one of the best Pokemon I've probably ever used, and I'm using in my party right now, it's like, it's, it's insane. Same thing goes for Noibat, like, Noibat's at first, like, terrible, and then once it gets, it comes, once it comes Noivern, it's like a monster. It's like, one evolution could pretty much make the whole entire Pokemon just insane. Um, but yeah, how you guys been doing? I hope y'all have been doing fine. Um, you know, I'm just trying to get through things, um, things I've been going um, going on recently, I guess you can call it. These videos are probably pretty much just to, you know, get thoughts out and all that stuff. But um, things that have been going on. Well, air condition. Um, it is summertime, and for the past about two to three months, my air condition has not been working. I'm trying to get things fixed, but it's a whole entire process apparently. Um, we have to go through the attic. We have to make a bigger hole in the attic to get to um, the box that controls the air condition. I don't know how this stuff works. And apparently it takes more than one or two or three or four visits from the freaking people to come here. Because they've already came here like three times in an attempt to try to fix the air condition. But first they have to try to find the problem that, um, you know, why the air condition is not working in the first place. And uh, apparently we have to replace some parts to the box that controls the air condition. And yeah, that's pretty much leading me to uh, basically not having any fucking air in this house. Like, the humidity that I live on, a, I live on an island, Long Island, and, um, you know, it's fucking humid as shit whenever you're around water. So, I'm dying from the humidity. And then, you add no air condition to that, and I don't even think we have a dehumidifier, so that's, like, twice as bad. So, there goes my breathing. <laughs> there goes me trying to even attempt to, um, survive the hot weather. It, it's... It's like literally hotter inside than it is outside. I can go outside and be like, ah, fresh air. As we get a nice little clauncher over there. Um, you know, just, it, it sucks. But, you know, I'm trying to deal with it. And that's what you got to kind of do. You got to kind of just deal with the stuff that's going on. And, um, you know, no matter how many fans I go, no matter how many fans I, you know, turn on, no matter if I turn off the, like, you know, um, flip over the blinds, uh, open up the window and all that, it's still going to be hot as shit in the house. And um, it pretty much makes the house also smell like shit. I mean, like, the sweatiness and all that, the, con the congestion, it's, it's, it's literally terrible. So if you have an air condition, uh, be happy right now, because you're not suffering. <laughs> you're not suffering like crazy. Unless you live in another country and it's a different season there, well, you know, you're probably not suffering in the first place either. But, you know, I'm, I don't know. Over the last, maybe, two years, I've really changed... <laughs> And every way possible, too. I mean, I've changed in interests, I've changed in what I like, what I don't like, you know, all that stuff. I used to be completely summer person and all that. But, you know, I've really accustomed to the coldness, I think you can call that. I've really just gotten used to cold temperatures, and I feel like I'm more of a winter person than a summer person now. I don't know. I used to... I used to I've always been able to take over, like, the, um, take over the cold, but... Now I actually don't mind it at all, like, I used to just not like the cold, but I can, like, you know, I can stand it, I can wear shorts in, like, 30 degree temperature, I've always been able to do that, but, you know, I, I really just don't care too much about the cold, it's kind of just like, yeah, the cold ever bothered me out of you, bitch, it's just like, I don't know, it's it's nothing, it's nothing to really complain about anymore, it's kind of just like, hey, you're here, you're there, uh, we'll pretty much just be used to you by now and call it a day, um, I still remember last year whenever uh, Hurricane Sandy hit us, um, I didn't have power for two weeks, and that was during um, November, so it was starting to get really cold by that time, and without a heater, um, 
you're going to freeze to death in your house without a heater during Hurricane Sandy where it's like fucking strong ass winds and then snow later on. Snow without power, pretty much 10 degrees to 20 degrees worth of weather. That, that was deadly. I'm not going to deny that. That was deadly weather. And, um, you know, after Hurricane Sandy having no power through that, it really sucked. I had to, like, fucking snuggle myself to death. And having no, like, power to distract you from pretty much how cold it is and how the whole entire Sandy just killed us like that, you know, that just makes it ten times worse. Like, I remember there was a heat wave that came two years ago, and it pretty much knocked out my whole entire electricity, and it knocked out, um... It knocked out pretty much all my power, and it was literally 110 degrees outside. 110 degrees outside Fahrenheit, by the way. If that was South Seas, then we'd, we'd literally all been dead. But, uh, Fahrenheit, um, that's all, all the temperatures I've been seeing is Fahrenheit. And, um, you know, with the heat wave happening, um, it was literally like 120 degrees in the house without the uh, air condition and without my fan. Actually, my air conditioner was broken at that time, too. So I had to rely on the fan only. And without the fan or the air condition and 120 degrees in the house, it was literally like suicide. <laughs> it was like the worst possible combination you can possibly approach. And, um, you know, I had to literally like, go into my basement and just like kind of lay there trying to survive. I had literally brought like freaking like three bottles of water with me too. Sweating my balls off. That's, that's, that's what happened basically. And that's what it's been happening lately also. Sweating my balls off with without any air condition. I wish I got a fan, but the fan, I don't know, it's it's not working too well in my opinion. Um, I'm not much for fans, and um, I guess I'm just accustomed to the uh, to the cold too much, I guess. Like, I don't know, I, 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 used, to be a, I used to be a bit better with uh, the warmness and being able to withstand it, but right now it's, it's a little too hot. Like, it's like literally been constant 90 degree weather here, and with it being 90 degrees like every day, 85 de degrees to 90 degrees, in the house, it's like 100 degrees, and that's literally like terrible. And um, I can't play any games either. I had to. We we're basically also have to build a wall in my room because in a certain part of my room, I don't have a wall. It's basically like a clip-on sort of a slide-through uh, wall sort of thing. We got rid of that, and um, we built a wall. And they still have to paint the wall, so I can't put any of my consoles to where they were before. So. I'm going to have to wait until they come back and paint that shit. And that, I don't know when they're going to come back. And they also have to fix the damn air condition. Again, I don't know when that's going to be fixed either. So it's been it's been a tough ride this summer so far. Not the most fun times ever. I mean, I'm complaining a lot, but I don't know. Whenever it comes to summer, I want to chill. I don't literally. Like, I want to chill with the air condition. I don't want to be dying in the heat. And, um, you know, just with it, also just all this stuff going down, it's kind of just annoying. <laughs> It's kind of like, hey, can I just, you know, kind of enjoy this time instead of having to stress through it? I don't know. That's just, that's just how it's been. But, um, how are we, who are we going to trade? Let's trade a Trachea. Why the fuck not? Um, but yeah, this video is coming close. Um, you know, hopefully my summer comes better, and updates are going to be coming on for the channel very soon. On July 1st, make sure to pinpoint that in your calendar, or just remember it, or don't give a fuck about it. It's up to you. If you watched this video the whole entire time, uh, you pretty much maybe care. I don't know. Who knows? But this person's going to get level 100 Trachyon, so he's going to be quite happy. From Lombardy, Italy. Not even bad. This dude, named Zakura, is about to get a Trachyon. Let's see what we're going to get back for that. And we get a, a Froakie. You know, as long as it's protein, I don't mind. I like gang uh, Froakies. You know, they're nice. So... Let's see how this one um, becomes, this Japanese-looking uh, Proki. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. hope everything is going fine with you. Hopefully, I can bring up more uploads for you all. And uh, yeah, have a nice day, have a nice night, and have a nice life. Peace.